Hey yo, so what's up? You already know it's your boy Baker. And of course, it is ended up at Baker's, but we doing a little spin on things right now. You know what I'm saying? We ended up in Compton. Like, hopefully I gotta watch my back because I'm not just anybody. Shout out to Drake, shout out to Aaliyah. This episode is different, and I think this episode is gonna be fun, you know what I'm saying? Um, not only are we not at the crib, but we still ended up at Baker's some way, somehow. But uh I got my guy, you know, we are at Ink Art Music, all the way in Compton. You probably seen him on Black Ink, you know, um, and definitely he is an artist. As well, he he an artist anyway, because he a tattoo artist in general. So we got KP. I am Compton. What's up, bro? How you doing? Noisy, man. How you What's doing? Up, you good? I'm good, man. How are you? Chilling, man. Can't complain. I feel it, man. You got me in the hood today, bro. Hey, you in the hood. We in the hood. You, in the hood. you on Compton Boulevard. You on the east side, though. I know. We east <laughs> When When I came from the valley, bro, like... First of all, we we was in the car listening to Beyonce, number one. Um, the new shit just dropped. It did. And that's what I, we I was, was listening to. I was to. listening to it uh, last night. All right. How you, how you feel about it? I didn't get to, you know, I was I was in the creative mode. So when I seen it go viral, I'm like, hold on, I got to tap in real fast. Yeah. And I see she was on her pop. Her pop. The energy is different this year. You know, I think, they, I think the top tier is kind of like staying away from the, the bullshit, the drill, and they done... Hopped on a plane, a jet, and Facts. went to a whole nother coast. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like we definitely, when I was listening to the car, I feel like we was at, like, some disco house party. I don't know right. what type of vibes, you know. I got it. It's a couple joints on there uh, that I like. Shout out to Hit Boy, because Hit Boy definitely produced a song on there. I don't know what song it was, but Crazy. that's my guy. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. We came out here, we listened to Beyonce. We coming from the Valley, and then, like, we end up in Compton, you know, um, but yeah, it's, it's all good. But speaking of Compton, bro, how was it like growing up in Compton for you? Um, honestly, I just adapted to my environment. I yeah. didn't, I didn't know what I was growing up in in a moment. Mm -hmm. I was just in a moment, just adapting to everyday life, you know. And growing up, I mean, as a kid, you gonna go to the to the little elementaries, uh, junior high school, high schools, and you gonna develop your personality. Off of what school you went to, yeah, and your, sure. your entourage, yeah, and then that's where Compton kind of play a part into a lot of people's lives because then you don't know what you picking up mm -hmm. from other kids or what they went through, or they ain't, they foster care ain't got no parents or whatever the situation is, and you around them so much. If you do got mom or dad that you living with, you get more influenced by what's going on at what's the school. Going on in the school, yeah. So. Um, I think that's where it start. You feel me? Like so, as kids back then, NWA, you know, was you know what was NWA it? did. I, I'm about to say it was a whole. You got thing. the death row. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I came out here right <laughs> death row. I'm I got the LA hat on. You know what I'm saying? Like I I'm came like, out yeah, here. The death row. On. Yeah. Hey, you might be on the wrong side, but no. Uh, I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> no, he's straight. <laughs> he's straight here, man. We straight. Nah, fact, solid. Um, nah, but I also want to know, like, growing up. Man, like we 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 see it on TV, but was like gangs to you like was that like a lot growing up? Was it like peer pressure to like actually try to be in a gang or how was that? Honestly, it, that that's what I'm saying. Like from the schools, it's like you start picking up the lingo, mm -hmm. what not to wear, who not to hang out with, but it's kind of hard because everybody from the hood in Compton, you know what I'm okay. saying? Everybody parents grew up in the hood or something, so you gonna be affiliated. So that's why people are like, oh, where your grandma stay at? Because they going to know off <laughs> the top, stay, yeah. like your roots, how yeah. deep your roots is, you feel me, and your connections to whatever neighborhood that is. So um, growing up, as uh, I want to say like elementary, junior high school, high school for sure, you start saying, all right, what am I going to do? Because you cuz or blood. You right. feel me? Like pick the movie a, pick in the a side, pick a side. What we doing? <laughs> yep. Basically, that's what it is. But you not understanding how serious it is mm -hmm. you feel me so in the situation you just you know you like i'm not finna get bullied at all so, so you you turn into the bully by just getting into fights or people trying to bully you and then you got to adapt to the environment like, yeah. like a baby yard you know what I'm saying? Yeah. you go to and, jail it's like hold up what you gonna do and that's so crazy that you say that though like because even growing up like on the east coast like we don't have the whole gang things but niggas definitely grew up like 
niggas came from hoods. Like we we had a whole situation like going to the go go's, right? And uh, you know, like it's just like one meetup place for people. Go go's we came to like hear the music, but like one person could be from C Pleasant and another nigga could be from uh Capitol Heights, right? Mm -hmm. And you could just collide like that. But just going back to what you said, like we definitely are a product Regardless of like how we grow up, we can get beat by our parents, you know what I'm saying? We can get grounded, but at the same time, when we go to school, oh, all yeah. that shit behind the door. It's going down, for sure, it's going down. And that's why I said I got kicked out of school a couple times, you know, just from fighting. I had like probably like seven fights in one semester. One Damn, time. so you got and expelled then it, from school. Yeah, for a second, and then um, I just had to tone it down and just adjust and, you know, walk away from some situations. Or whatnot, but you know, like I said, the the city have an influence, and if you was a kid growing up in the NWA era, mm -hmm. Death Row days, it was going down. Like <laughs> it was going down for sure. If you know, you know. And so that's what I'm saying. Right here to be right here to have a tattoo shop right here. Yeah. Um, be able to bring cameras, and film, and and, and give a piece. We can't give the full. Even in a movie, you don't get the full. Get the full, like just the, yeah, yeah, the full of what it is. Yeah, it's kind of spoon fed, but you can get the idea, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so, I think it's it's just a, a privilege, a honor. I'm just grateful to even still be here to be able to have a shop right here. <laughs> no one was what happened yeah. around these neighborhoods. It's yeah. just like kind of surreal, low key. But I'm like, well, I'm in it. I was born, I, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm from here, from so here, yeah. I got to embrace it, except like, hey, you just, it's your time, mm -hmm. you just here, yeah. you can't make it up. Yeah, for sure. All right, so we going we gonna to get into the whole, like, being here, we going to get into the tattoo shop, but of course, like, you got this new single out called Go Numb, right? Go Numb is and, crazy. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot of different representations where you can go numb, especially like getting a tattoo, like, I know people might get numb when they get a tattoo, because that means y'all scared at the end of the day. <laughs> but, <laughs> but nah, uh, you know, Go Numb, I, I know you, I know that's, that song to you is basically about like your struggles and your pain, but what are some struggles and pains that you went through to actually be in a studio and just get out there and just talk your shit, you know, like what you've been through? Um, I mean, just life. I mean, I, I feel like everybody go through life at a certain pace. Um, me, honestly, just from playing football, like I said, growing up in Compton, and like, okay, it's either you gonna gang bang, yeah. or you gonna go play sports and semi gang bang, but hopefully the sports get you up out of here so you ain't got a gang bang. Nah, definitely. That's just what it was, yeah. you feel me? So once we, you, okay, we might have action to, to go somewhere. Yeah. And you start, you know, entertaining that. Like, hold on, you, Lean on that a little more, cause you know the streets ain't going nowhere, the block ain't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. So you find whatever is is pulling you out, but in a you know promising way. So sports, like every kid was, oh, that's what you do. Yeah. You put your kid in football, basketball, track, whatever situation so is, hoping he do something and yeah. stay out of trouble, keep him busy. Facts. Doing that and then losing that and then coming back to Compton, like okay. Probation, halfway house, like, do something now. It was like, wait, hold up. What this is real. Yeah. This is real life. Yeah. <laughs> From there, it's like, okay, just know you can dream and it can get snatched away if you ain't paying attention. If you're yeah. aware and saying that. I tell people that all the time. Like, we can be in a whole moment right now. Like, this microphone and all this shit, tomorrow can be gone. Like, within a 30-second decision, five-second five decision, like... It's All this shit can be taken away, like, real quick. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you definitely have to be in this whole humble state of mind. And, and go numb. Yeah, and go numb. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. All right, so I do want to talk about this. Like, we, we talked about you a whole artist and you a rapper, but, like, let's talk about the rap thing because some people might not know, like, you worked with Rich Homie Quan, right? Oh, uh, yes, my but, brother. That's the homie, you know what I'm Rich saying? Rich Homie. Rich <laughs> Homie. Rich Homie got to make a comeback, man. What? Man, hey, we got a we got a joint right now. If I put it out, he back. <clears throat> and it's fire. What? It's crazy. I think uh, this is the time right now for Rich Homie, right? Rich Homie is my dog. Like we can Facetime Rich Homie and see if Rich Homie gonna answer. But uh, I think it's just his time right now. It's it's still free YSL. But what I'm saying is, it was a whole era like that 2014 era that Rich Homie and Young Thug was doing their doing their thing. 
And I think right now this is the opportunity for Rich Homie just to it's do the his big one and come back. It's the time, and it's like, bro, Ben, he been doing this shit. Yeah. Like I went on tour with him 2015 okay. in, in Canada. We did the whole um, Canadian tour, Edmonton. No, Ed, what was it? Uh, Edmonton, Vancouver, Calgary, Winnipeg, Saskatoon, Toronto. Yeah, Toronto, Montreal, London. It was crazy. And in the moment, I'm like, dang, Quan lit. Like, I ain't know how, you know what I'm saying? Lit like, how many until years until I'm right? on tour with him, yeah. especially in, in Canada. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, this motherfucker, <laughs> he got some bangers. Like, Definitely. the whole time, they was partying. Yeah. And then he brought me out um, right before my nigga. And then, and then he dropped mm. my nigga right after that. Then lifestyle. Mm. Then okay. type away. I'm like, so I'm on a stage. Like, yo, Quan, that nigga. <laughs> you was in the era. Oh, era. It was the era. Yeah, that, that was, was the, the era. era. And I ain't know nothing about what was going on. He never said nothing negative about the. Mm -hmm. It was always love. Yeah, for sure. And then he was just passing me the same energy he said Wiz passed him, bringing him on his tour. So he's just like, ah, oh, nigga, you dope. Nigga, you an artist. You tat ant. Like, nigga, not. Nah, I just need to hear you, bro, bro. Like, yeah. that's what it's about, passing yeah. it down. So I'm like, ah, oh, that's what's up. Like, niggas out here don't. We don't think like that. Yeah. You feel me? So for him to do that, it's like, I always respect him. First motherfucker took me on tour. Been solid. Ain't never did no fuck shit. And every time he came to Compton, like LA, he was straight. <laughs> Period. And he got some bangers. Like, he nigga got, got some, some bangers. bangers. He's sitting on records. Okay. For sure. Hey, look, I want to ask you this. Do you really think, like, when you come to somebody's city, do you think that that person has to check in with somebody from that city? Um, it's more of if you grew up in the in the streets, you feel more comfortable knowing you tapping in with somebody from out there. Yeah. Because if somebody come to your city, yeah, and they don't know nobody, what it look like? Nah, for sure. They uh, yeah. <laughs> they read. It's like ah, right, yeah. he don't know nobody. Yeah. Like I don't care where you go, you don't know nobody. He's walking around here sober. So it's a smart thing to tap in with somebody who knows where to go where not to be where not to take you if you want to sightsee definitely, definitely. <laughs> you know what i'm saying so that's it's tapping in in the streets because it, it can get deep pause in the streets but people tap in on the executive levels yeah just on like some gp yeah just because you you want to go to where you good yeah you feel me why you in, in town on yeah. vacation or working that's with anybody. Yeah, so. definitely. I'm in your city. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when, if you text me, you in my city, all right, that's cool. But sometimes you be like, I ain't going to text that person back because they in my city because they might want some. But then at the end of the day, people be like, all right, where do I go to eat at? Like, where's the hookah at? Where the clubs at? And you got to tap in with somebody. You got to tap. You <laughs> definitely have to tap in with somebody to get that. Or we can go on TikTok now and TikTok be like, I'm in Los Angeles. Let me pull up here. Yeah, right? but then you don't know if that spot burnt out already. Hey, you don't know. Exactly. Like trash. You know? Yeah, exactly. Do you want to take that risk? <laughs> nah, big facts. <laughs> hey, bro, so what was your first tattoo? Like, the first tattoo that you ever did, like, what age? And what tattoo was it? The one I got or did? No, nah, the one you did. The first tat I did was on my myself. I got a KP right here. Okay. Um, that's how I was practicing. And my mama walked in. I was like, boy, uh-uh. You got to get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> a guy don't like that. You marking on your body. I'm like, ah, you know yeah. what's happening. Right. I lost to Skyly. I got to find a job. My PO on me. You and gotta I know something. how to draw. Everybody like, you should have been tatting. Yeah. Like, Let me try this shit myself. Mm -hmm. And start practicing on myself. From there, I tatted my homie Lil Major. He got the Lil Major on his arm, and he was able to go around and show people in the hood. And from there, it's over. From Compton, Watts, South Central, the every everywhere. I just ran through the city. I was the only black tattoo artist too, and I already knew everybody from sports. Yeah. And I already was drawn since elementary at Emerson down the street. <laughs> you feel me? So it was like it just lined up. Yeah. Easy. And that probably was like a time where everybody actually wanted to get tattoos. Cause... Uh, well, nah. Um, I want to say people wasn't really getting tatted like that because it was still kind of like a 
a stigma like oh no nah, I ain't get no tattoos yeah are you a gangbanger if you got right. tattoos and, then and stuff like that be like how you just said right. it's in the Bible you don't oh uh, yeah no tattoos uh, it's over you the devil yeah. it was that's how people looked at you you the devil or yeah. um, even I want to say like 2008 um I got pulled over like for the last time not for the last time but in that moment before I said something like to the to the uh police like nigga why you keep pulling me over and then he looked he's like you want to know and he was he looked he's like look at you braids tattoos tank top you fit the description i'm like that's crazy like damn that's what it is yeah, that's crazy <laughs> but around the tank compton like shit we all that tattoo thing, that's yeah. it the ones who's doing the shit so of course they're gonna bother me and then i cut my hair off Try to switch it up, get try more fly. Try to be politics, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a schoolboy. I right. get the collar. And now everybody, dreads, braids, tats, like, his ex is, is crazy. Yo, it's so crazy how, like, we go through, like, all these eras. It's how you said, like, it, it was an era where everybody wanted to be tatted. You know what I'm saying? It was an era where everybody wanted to dreads. It was an era where everybody wanted to fade. It was an era where everybody <laughs> wanted the S curl little waves. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Had the wave caps. Like, <laughs> this is so crazy how we go through all these. Because, shit, I mean, I'm bald, but like, I definitely <laughs> went through a whole like wave situation. Like, yeah, waves they, on hey. swim, so they hate on him, you know? They what? When, when they dyed the hair, them Cisco days and stuff, uh, that was different. Nah. That was different when they was doing that. I never dyed the hair. But I remember they was the the music influenced the culture a lot. Like, yo, the music. Definitely. Whoever popping, like you breeding kids. <laughs> and that's the crazy part. Like, yo, like oh. Wayne. Like Wayne had a long run where he just was. He oh he the goat. I'm arguing with Tim all the time. Like who better, Jay Z or Wayne? Like, Tim, bro. so who better, Jay Z or Lil Wayne? What you was saying? What you was saying? Yeah. In, uh, so it's Hov? I was saying Hov, he said Wayne. Man, but at the time it was Wayne, he was just dropping too much. That, he was mm. just doing too much. He had 17 mixtapes, no album. Where? He, that. he was going crazy. And, and lyrically, yeah, he was going crazy. Jay was too. Be, but I was looking at it like, and a massage. I'm looking at it like, wait, hold up. I'm actually learning some shit from, from Jay. And he on his business side, it was different. And now when you look at it, you're like, damn. Business wise, everything, everything you made sure you was calculated. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything, nah, I ain't no yeah. flaws. Uh, uh. Like, if it is, I'm come right back. I'm gonna double up. Like, <laughs> so I'm I trying, looked at it like that. I'm trying to think who better, Hope or Lil Wayne. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I might say Wayne. I mean, I'm sure you're gonna say Wayne. Like, as far I'm as like sure. lyrics, and I'm, I'm saying like for the for bars. Mm -hmm. And like metaphors and what he's saying, it might just be Wayne. Like, it might be Wayne. I mean, I think that's been a debate nah, since he definitely. started saying he the, he the Carter and all of that. So I think it's been a debate, but because because they both Carters, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. But like I said, Jay, I think his his um his work just show like from a businessman to the artist, like all of it count. Nah, definitely. Like right now, I'm I'm doing. I feel comfortable. I'm I don't have, um, uh, I don't know the biggest record or whatever case. Everybody not dissecting my lyrics, but I know if you dissect them, you're like, oh, this motherfucker. You're like he oh, really shit. talking oh, shit. Oh, he talking shit. He, yeah. I done been in the lab where, but but I might not have a plaques, so I, it don't matter to me. Like oh, you gotta have a plaque. I'm looking at what you doing. Are you getting help? Somebody spotting you behind? We don't know. Are you really out here and you got to make a decision like that? And it's all your bread. <laughs> like, Definitely on your different. studio time. How, <laughs> how much you think you ever spent on studio what? time? What? Like, I do this shit so much, I don't even, I, I count it like food, like gas and food. I got to do it. And both of them right now? It's crazy. It's OD. Like, My truck, like 130 to fill up. Yeah, you driving a big so, ass truck. Yeah, bro. so it's like, nigga, <laughs> every two days, and I'm I'm pushing. I'm not. I'm covering ground in LA. I'm covering ground. Yeah, like from Compton to Pass Valley, back to Compton, like Long Beach. I'm covering ground. That's a lot, bro. Yeah, so I just like make the hustle a little more, so I can just cover more more things. Yeah, you feel me? 
Um, you don't got the plaques right now, but you definitely gonna get the plaques. And you definitely had placements. And speaking of placements, you know yeah. the theme song, theme of song. fucking Black in Compton is your record, bro. I do um, that one. You know, uh, how did that situation even come about? I- outside of just already being on the show, but like, um, what was the conversation like? What with the thing? Yeah. Basically, like with reality TV, with me being an artist, mm-hmm. being calculated. Studying the game, being a fan of hip hop, mm-hmm. and um, looking at it like, okay, who, who is the top artist in the business? How are they accepting musicians doing reality? Um, it didn't seem like they they, they accept you, mm-hmm. so I always like kind of was stayed away from it, regardless of the platform and no popularity and and those type of things. So when the opportunity presented itself. Uh, I basically said, well, y'all know I do music. At this point, y'all been following me. Y'all like, oh, what you want you on the show? Um, what you think about, you know, like that type of storyline being followed? And I'm like, well, it's going to take me away from doing what I love to do. Yeah, and definitely. And it's make music. Yeah. Like the tattoo, and that's my therapy. I love helping people and, and seeing people happy when I do the tattoo. And it's it's a gift that God gave me. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know. Like I said, I thought I was going to be playing football, thought I was gonna be the Odell. Before I seen Odell, I was already had like yeah, that was I'm my finna show out. Like yeah. can't nobody stop me. Right. I had that attitude. Yeah. So now it's like it's tucked and then the lyrics, it's like in the lyrics kinda. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The attitude is in there. But at the same time, I'm just sitting back like, okay, let me make sure that everything, everything, and if I if if I'm gonna do this show, I need my music in there. Make it make sense. It, 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 it has to. I'm yeah. not just just doing TV to be uh, famous or whatever case it is. Like now, nah, I've been, been behind the scenes mm. with Kyla like for years. Okay. So yeah. like, why would I just say, oh, I want to be in the spotlight when I know how I look? You know when how it supposed is. To, <laughs> when they supposed Would to roll you? that carpet, I know how it's supposed to look. Yeah. So if I'm gonna dumb it down and put her in the light, myself, my family, like I need y'all to hear this every time. Every single time. Y'all turn it on to talk shit. Y'all gonna at least hear that I do what the fuck I want. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. What Rich on me. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely hear it every time, bro. Like, me? and I want to tap into Black Ink because I watch Black Ink. I'm a fan of Black Ink. You know what I'm saying? I watch every Black Ink. I watch this last every. season. Nah, dead ass. Like, damn, I, you got to school me. I got, I got, I got to school you. You know what I'm saying? Like, this last season was real. Yeah. Y'all was on some shit. He's, it was real. <laughs> oh, he was realer than what you seen. <laughs> okay. It was real. But nah, speaking of real, bro, like, I want to know, like, is everything really real or is, like, some shit fabricated? Because that's just a whole, like, thing with reality TV. Like, we be looking at, uh, who was the first reality TV show I seen uh, outside of real world? It was probably, like, Flavor of Love, right? And mm. we just want to know, is it real? But then everybody <laughs> thinks shit is fake. But then it, some people think it's real. It get, it get tricky. It's like, it's like, it's real, and then you have the TV part, mm-hmm. and then you gotta kind of take your real and and make TV with it. Mm-hmm. So then after a while, it get like this. <laughs> yeah, you kind of fall, and then it just become one. Okay. So it's, it's, it's that's how I could kind of explain it. Like you have your real life, and then you gotta do TV to make it make sense. But then doing TV, you can get fill away because somebody else trying to do TV with their real life yeah. and they trying to protect their image or brand or finesse. So somebody like me who looking at it like, okay, God gave me a second chance to use my gift. And y'all don't know my story, but it's a platform. It's a platform. And I, I, I embrace this platform because I said, hey, we on the same page, so we gonna, y'all gonna cover my music, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. In the process, you're gonna deal with people who have their own agenda. Yeah. So it's sure. like, hold on now, like, I'm gonna let y'all come to the city mm-hmm. and do TV. <laughs> yeah. Don't get beside yourself because in real time, this is real life, and you really in, in the hood, and you on Compton Boulevard, and now you got, I gotta re- remind you, but if you not connected to, Compton in that way, or are you from somewhere else? And it's just like, oh, 
I'm gonna visit and make some money and I'm out of here. Yeah, we go. You think it's no consequences? It's consequences for me. Mm. So that's where it's like, hold on now. <laughs> you feel me? I can't come to your city and and do what the fuck I want in your face if you don't. If you supposed to be the man, and this other people ain't never did that. Now it become a little serious and like, hold on, time out, time out. Flag on the plate type thing. <laughs> yeah, before this go all the way left, time out. Okay, uh, we gotta switch this up. Now it's real. It, it, yo, definitely a couple episodes definitely got <laughs> real, bro. Like, do you, do you think, you know, with like all the drama, do you think people portray KP a different way, like on TV versus who you are in real life? Just from like what everybody's seeing, everything that went down. Um, Honestly, I, at, at one moment, I'm like, hold on. I'm like, Y'all got me fucked up calling the network like, nah, the fuck is this? Yeah. Like, ain't, ain't, what? You talking about like as far as like the edits and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, and like okay. how people like, how you say it, that's how they start perceiving because of what they seeing. Yeah. Or how it's being edited or the context or, or they can take it and say, I don't like how, how they communicate with women or whatever. And it's like, we, how you know we was arguing with a girl on that particular one that you said, you feel me? It could have been somebody else. That, you feel me? But. Yeah, we don't have control over that. So sometimes it be smoke and mirror, and it's like, ah, shit. Like, just go numb to the situation. Know that, hey, you signed up to do TV, so remember that part. Yeah. So when people like in it and, and want the the TT, you gotta remember it's TV. You still have a job. You still have a job. You still got a job to do. So now I found that okay, go numb to the critics, to the comments, to certain shit because you realize. You know who you are, mm -hmm. and you gotta protect your brand and what you do. But now people are starting to see it, and they like, oh, it's real. You in it? Yeah. You in the matrix for real? Yeah. So now it's real for you. I'ma say, like, if y'all ever seen Black Ink, it got real on Black Ink. But it, it's it's also dope because, like, how you say, like, you telling your story, you know, Tim telling his story, and everybody else, <clears throat> excuse me, that's on the show, they telling their story, but. I, I definitely got to talk about this last season real quick. Right? <laughs> he um, on this last season. No, because I'm telling y'all, the last season was, like, really OD. Like, I'm a Black Ink fan. Like, I'm going to say that. Like, I tell people that shit all the time. Like, but, you know, you let go of a lot of people, right? And <laughs> you let go of a lot of people. And some of them were some dope-ass artists. So I, I, I definitely want to know how's the relationship with some people now or if it's any relationship with any people right now, we gonna just, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, we in saying. it. What y'all seen is like the, the TV version, you know what I'm saying? Spoon fed, <laughs> um, clean of what it is. Mm -hmm. But I, nah, I, I'm not communicating with nobody. Like, it, 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 it's over. It's done, done. <laughs> it's done. Okay. And it had to be done because I couldn't do the, the TV and then the disrespect and yeah. I'm out of here, like, fuck your city. Like, I couldn't do it. Okay, I mean, that's so, solid. It ain't, I ain't about how talented you are or nothing. It's about respect. Like, I let you come in my city and and be able to build, yeah. make money, be a part of something. Mm -hmm. First time, first ever history. Definitely, like, definitely that's definitely that's <laughs> history. You know what I'm saying? Like, but hold up. So how does how's that gonna be on the next season? Cause I know you filming right now, right? So how's that gonna be? Like, er is everybody still on the show, but y'all not in the same? See, and now I, with the show, that's I don't own the show, so I don't. I'm 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 working. Right. You feel You're me? Just doing your job. I'm doing my job. Yeah. But it's Compton, so of course this is the hub of it all. Yeah. And they branch out and do whatever. And you follow whatever they're doing, mm -hmm. and somehow tie back to who doing better or what happens Comparison or that type, type of, of shit but yeah. i don't care i don't have nothing to do with that all i got to do is show up work and at the end of the day run my business how i'm supposed to do yeah. like i'm doing with right. my real artists that actually come and make money and they lit okay and they all and it's i got all women in here now oh damn solid so it's crazy i definitely it's got so crazy. a tattoo now like it's all women and i we ain't had no problem so I don't know how <laughs> it's been little little, little cat fights here, here and there, yeah. but okay, 
it ain't nothing to where I'm like, look, nigga, I'm shit. Some might go left, and I might throw all this shit away. Yeah. Y'all keep playing with me. Because y'all niggas was about to fight, fight. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that was for TV or not, but they was about to. Uh, nah, they was trying to do TV. Well, we man. can knuckle up anytime, was, anyplace. They was, about, they was trying to do TV. <laughs> I, like I said, I'm like, I, I want, I'm doing TV because my job, but y'all know I'm not fucking with this nigga. So y'all gonna put me in a room for a nigga to tell me some shit on TV, and like, and, and hopefully, nigga, I keep my composure. And yeah, you do your thing. I feel like I should do like a truth or dare with KP real quick, cause KP keep talking about some specific person, but not saying the person. But what you mean? But I, nah, I gotta ask this question. All right, truth or take a shot, right? This is how it works. There's no other eyes. It's truth or yeah. You either gotta, you gotta like speak on it and tell the truth, or you like. I plead the fifth. I don't even want to talk about it, so I'm gonna take a shot. Oh, so I can tell the truth about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Valid. Um, now ask it. Now okay, bet. I'm okay. thinking you're saying truth or a shot. You're gonna start over. All right, bet. All right, bet. So truth or take a shot. Do you think KP and Lemire will ever be cool again? Um Nah. Not unless he had a business proposal. That makes sense for my brand and what I'm doing. Okay, that's simple. So you don't gotta take the shot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I thought you was. I'm supposed to say true or that. I'm like, uh, hell no, nah, I ain't saying that. I'm gonna be fucked up. All right, cool, man. Uh, I don't even want to talk about Black Ink no more. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> hey, so look, look. I was in. A, I was in a. Uh, I was in a club oh, the other shit. day, right? Yeah. And, uh, the service was definitely terrible. And, uh, you know, I'm a big believer about tips. Because, you know, they say black people, we don't tip. Mm -hmm. And we definitely don't tip. Because I, I seen some of my friends, they, they don't tip. And uh, I worked in customer service. Shit, you work in customer service. Shit, I work in customer service now because it's all about pleasing, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. your client. But if the service is bad, are you tipping or are you not tipping? Um... Or you penny and leaving a dollar, two dollars. I'm Not leaving the, something light. I'm leaving something light. I'm Not the whole fifteen light. or eighteen. I'm leaving something hella light. <laughs> Just because <laughs> something is like, oh, it's a tip, but it ain't nothing what you thought you was gonna get. Yo, um, and then sometimes, you know, the gratuity is included. You know, also like I went to this spot in uh Hollywood, like they be putting like entertainment fees on your shit now. Where is that? So I can stay away. Uh, it's <laughs> called Next Door Lounge. I went for oh, my homegirl no. birthday. And it was entertainment, so I do understand it, but it was a whole like $100. It fee. was a vibe? It was a vibe. It was worth it? It was worth it. Oh, Sometimes you can get that it. shit taken off, though. Like, a lot of people don't know that. Like, if they add like extra fees, like, I think I went to an, I'd be outside too much. I went to his <laughs> other spot, and uh, it was like a health insurance fee, right? And I'm like, yo, what is this? They was like, it's because during COVID, like, some of the workers they don't have health insurance. I'm like, Damn. oh, okay. I ain't taking that off, but like, Niggas it's like damn, taxed like, all the way around, all the way around. So bro. I can't tax nobody. They ain't acting up. <laughs> they they acting up, bro. That's crazy. Um, I also want to get into a real conversation that we all talk about. Like, as people, we talk about marriage, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and everybody just try to put this pressure on us, depending on your age. It's like, you know. And she over 30, she ain't married, something might be wrong with her. Mm. Or, you know, if guys, we over 30, we ain't married, something wrong with us. But what's your, what's your take in marriage? Because a lot of people do know, like, you engage and you've been in this situation for a minute. So, like, what's your take on marriage? Is that, like, a big thing for you? Um, It just depends. It just depends on, like, my pops never been married. Okay. But my mom been married twice. So, um. But I grew up, my grandma and grandpa was married, mm -hmm. um, had what, six girls, one boy. And then my, I'm in a house full of soulful women from Louisiana, hey. and, but just incompetent. But I was born here, but they all from New Orleans. So seeing that environment, it's mm -hmm. like, ooh, I want that. You know what I'm saying? I want that as a kid because I seen it. Yeah. But not seeing it no more, it's like, dang, it's I don't see a... Uh, like oh, like a rush kind of situation. Not not a rush, but it's no. Um, 
picture of around us like where it's like oh i want that look how that look it's, like relationship goes you know yeah, how like we it's all like look it, at like now it's everybody look. going through shit and because i tattoo i'm doing cover-ups left and right people get names yo they come back in some months i'm covering it up i'm hearing a million stories it's the same shit it's the Crazy. same shit. that's one thing me tattooing and i got a lot of women i tattoo i'm hearing a million like stories. stories they man. damn near the same <laughs> you feel me but some just disrespectful some is like, ah, oh, man, let that nigga slide. Niggas is doing way more fucked up shit. Okay. Nah. <laughs> so I become a therapist because I'm covering up names. Yeah, because that's doing therapy. Some, yeah. yeah. So we having conversation. I'm like, what, what happened? What do you do? Ah, oh, man, let that slide. Like, we, man, we don't know what we want. Yeah, facts. Like, we like to watch sports, feel like a king. It's hard out there. Yeah. So we got to deal with America, and now we got to be in here and be perfect. Mm -hmm. So... Finding your one that understands you and y'all could build with, it's, it's the best thing to do. Solid. You feel me? Like, but if you go on for, if you don't see that and you're not around that, it's hard to say, okay, I want, I want that. Unless you're doing it just because you just want to have a, have fun, do business, do paperwork. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? And make things a, a little more compl complicated. Mm -hmm. You can always have one. Definitely, because I feel like right now, like. At the age we all are in, right? Like, I feel like some people are dating for fun. Some people dating with purpose. Uh, like, how we talked about the whole relationship goes. Like, everybody at one point was looking at Hove and Beyonce. Yeah, like, oh, I want to. I want to do that. And now everybody went to Russell and Sierra, but then they said <laughs> Russell was corny. And it's just like, how that nigga corny? And then we looked at uh, Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey. And what she, Lori Harvey is a player. So we look at all that shit. The times <laughs> is different, like what yeah, you just said. It's a different. different generation, and and honestly, like, um, it's a it's a man's world, but it's really a woman's world because the man mm. followed a woman. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you look at it from that perspective, like even with Twitter and Instagram, like men wasn't smart to be on that type of on that devices type of and communicate. Yeah, like women influence us to to do that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and we kind of follow what they, what they want us yeah, to do, low key. Yeah, definitely, Man, we we groom different now from back in the day. Yo, <laughs> Just period. The generation that. that we all, everybody, growing beard. In order to get this shit, you gonna have to take care of your beard, all that. Like before that, niggas was edge up, boom, we out. Some deodorant. On. You got it. I mean, ashy still. Yeah, the the same way that <laughs> the same way that the woman has standards, like we should have standards too, because we be like, yo, she should have a job, and you know what I'm saying all this shit. It's tough, like, man. Our beards should be like. I just watched this, the Drewski video. It's like niggas want all this from a female, but like nigga, your nails dirty. You don't got no job. You living at home with your mama. Like how you want your shorty to be? Like we right. gotta be equally oak. You know what I'm saying? Um, but so the question is, like KP, when are you gonna get married? Um, or oh, when do you want to get married? That's not that's that shouldn't even be a question. When are you gonna get married? Like when do you feel? When I'm gonna have a party? You having a party? That's why I mean that's the party. That's I mean the, that that definitely is a whole party. You know what I'm saying? Because you can do the paper. We going to the wedding. We party. doing the electric slide. It's a party. <laughs> All that. It's business in front of everybody. You feel me? And then it's a party. That's what it is. But if you already been doing that, it's kind of like. When you do that, it's gonna be for the people that, oh, we wanna just show the the whole party. You feel me? But if you're already moving kinda like that or been moving with somebody like that, you're not thinking of it. So you're saying the paper is not important. Yeah. To nah. All right. That could be a whole debate. I don't I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't want everybody to get on KP ass for what he just said, cause I don't know. I mean, it is just papers, but I feel like it's, I don't know, man. I feel like, I, I just, I, I don't feel know. like that's I, I, different. I done tatted like, a lot of people and I don't know too many married couples no more. And they, and, and the paperwork killed them. A hundred percent. It did. So it's like, damn, when that happened, it was like, y'all was, and then right when y'all did the, and then the, paper, the business side of the full, it's just like, it just start going Whoa, down so you, you and Kylie crazy. had that that whole agreement we right? we just been straight so because we've been straight and people been questioning her or asking her it may as be like yeah now we ain't done just because y'all trying to yeah 
So everybody it, asking the same question. Yeah, it was like, just man? because y'all yeah. trying, we ain't, even if we was like, okay, we should. And now it's like, oh, you going to do it right now? You should do it. It's like, wait, hold on. Now, fall back. I ain't doing nothing now. Right. You going to tell me when. when like, she got it. that attitude, too. Like, okay. y'all ain't going to tell me when. I ain't no kid. Like, I'm yeah. grown. <laughs> but they seen her as a kid. Yeah. Definitely. But she a, she a real one. Yeah. And she from here. So it was like her mama from Compton. Her daddy was from down the street. So it's like she from, she's still real. But people won't see her from that perspective. It's like, you can't tell me what to do. I do what I want. It's that mentality. And because it's always, she always been in the, the limelight, it's always been that. That. To where it been making us like, yeah, we ain't tripping. We ain't even tripping. All right, we, we gonna solid. show y'all how we solid. We know what we doing. Yeah, and yeah. y'all gonna look up, and y'all done got married and divorced, and we still rocking. Real quick, and then that's gonna be a whole other discussion, you know what I'm saying? Like, after all these years, they was in a relationship, <laughs> and then, boom, that's what happened. Nah, as long as, I feel like, I mean, I feel like as long as y'all had that agreement, as long as anybody having that agreement... It's like, if I don't got a million to spend on the party, and yeah. I'm going to spend me that million on the party. Right, right facts. My, my, take, my take on it is if you, if you, uh, marriage is a lifetime. It, it is. So you shouldn't get married in the beginning. Mm. Marriage is at the end. Mm. Can you make it? Mm. If you make it, I owe you everything. If we can't make it, what I owe you? In, in, in our relationship, you figure each other out and you figure if you want to stay forever. Mm -hmm. I just, I feel like I'm from the 80 baby, so it's like my grandma them never was on paperwork, bro. My grandpa died and then the, the government was like, well, because your granny ain't on paperwork, you don't own this. You don't got this, yeah. But she was with him 40 years, bro. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it's it really just about the commitment. Like, I mean, watching him is like, nigga, it's all about the Y'all commit it, you gonna make it. If not, you'll figure it out. It might not be in year two, year seven. <laughs> and he done witness. He done. He done witness like the some whole, shit. The whole thing. Like, he witnessed like <laughs> everything like from before I, the yeah. full life. That's, so that's why when they like, why he? he it's like man, cause he seen some shit that like I. That's why I don't be tripping. It's like you know I ain't crazy. Yeah. Like he know I ain't crazy. <laughs> Somebody know I ain't crazy. You feel me? So yeah. I feel comfortable because somebody know I ain't crazy. Because some people <laughs> might think you're crazy, but you yeah, ain't but crazy. But somebody know I ain't crazy. You, I have one witness. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> he know I ain't crazy. Yeah. He done encouraged me. Hey, bro. Like, nigga, you know, I know shit tough. Yeah. But you know, nigga, who your baby mama is, right? Nigga, I know shit tough, but nigga, it could be a lot worse. It can be a lot worse. <laughs> like, he would keep me, like, in that lane, like, nigga. Okay. That, that's solid. Like, I, I definitely got to ask the people, like, do y'all think marriage is important or do you think marriage is not important? Because that's definitely, like, a whole conversation, especially not in our whole culture, you know what I'm saying? Because, shit, some of my homies, they married and, I don't know, they doing the best they can do, you know what I'm saying? Don't shoot a nigga up, they doing the best they can do, but, I mean, hey. To yeah, it's diff it's, and, and what's crazy is I just had a conversation that, that kind of blew my mind because... Not really, but just that they was talking about it comfortably. Like, like a girl was talking about a couple and just randomly was like, yeah, I'm in a relationship and I was keeping it a hundred and this and that and I know he got somebody and mm. I'm just, I ain't even worried about, I just want to communicate. He can't come. I'm like, man, damn. Like, you rare to even be tapped in on some... Like, I know niggas gonna do bullshit, but communicate, nigga, and nigga, make sure, nigga, we safe and some whole other shit. If you ain't communicating, you, you don't even got shit. Like, one of my homegirls just posted, like, what's what's one thing in dating? It was this card. Uh, what's one thing in dating that's non-negotiable? And I was like, uh, KP ringing. I mean, not KP. Uh, sure. Tim ringing. Uh, what's one thing that's non-negotiable? I was like... Communication and consistency. Like, if you don't have them two things, you don't even have, like, a solid foundation at the end of the day. At all. Well, anything, though. No, nah, definitely. Even business. That's business. one thing I learned, too. Like, I just got to communicate a little more better on the business side of things. And I won't be in situations to where I'm like, hold on, how I get here? I ain't communicate. Like, I wasn't finna deal with this from the jump. 
kind of sat back and let shit happen. I should have commuted. Hey, I'm not finna deal with X, Y, and Z if you come to my shop. If you come to my shop. <laughs> and sad to say, sometimes y'all... Oh, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm... Yeah, sometimes y'all communication a little off. Yeah, like, it is, for sure. I learned how to communicate more than ever the past, like, five years. For real? Okay. Yeah. Do you think that whole Zodiac sign is really, like, a whole thing? It's just real. It's real? It's very real, for sure. I didn't know. Like I said, I was... I didn't know why... Like, as far as I've been hip-hop, I mean, been a, a fan of hip-hop and grew up right here on the east side under N.W.A. You know what I'm saying? The fathers of it. Yeah. Grew up with Lil Easy, Curtis Young, Dre Son. So, and then my, my day ones, like Sandbox. So, to see that, um, end up tattooing Puff, Nas. So being being on the other we side, tattooed a lot of people. Like we we got we definitely got to talk about that real quick. And then, like yeah. shout out to you, like to Taraji, um, Dwayne Wade, of course, Kyla, Diddy. Oh uh, yeah, so yeah, that's a whole nother. It's like a whole list. Of but people, but like, pup like and then like thinking about like damn, I was I was listening to that because of Death Row, the beef, and now I'm tatting him. Like, yo, Compton, I'm like yo, this is different. Yeah. Like but. His energy was on some, man, we having fun, we partying, we, I know that world too. Yeah. I was asking, superstar, I know that world very well. I know both sides. So seeing I'm like, oh, this this longevity and what he talking about and, and how he moving. Mm -hmm. And then hearing Jay-Z, it's like, okay, I'm learning business moves or how to move without moving sometimes, you feel me? like it's, I'm learning different shit. So I'm picking him like, hold on. Why? And then I found out he's a Sag. I'm like, ah, man, he tapped in. That's why my personality was more, I'm calculated. The business said, Sit back, the yeah, the whole said, everything. Like, just analyzing everything. Like, yo, that Zodiac sign, it's crazy, but like a lot of people do get turned off if you tell them your Zodiac sign oh, yeah. when you first have a conversation. Cause I'm a Scorpio, so like, oh <laughs> shit. I hate Scorpio. <laughs> See, look at you. Like, what's wrong with Scorpios? <laughs> Like, damn, like, everybody love to hate the damn Scorpio. Like, we emotional, we passionate about shit, we know how to communicate, but I don't know. Like, <laughs> shit, I'm the epitome of a Scorpio. Like, I didn't, yeah. I wasn't that big on, like, Zodiac signs. Like, I'm not big on that whole, like, air, moon shit. Like, that shit real. Corey, you might be doing that shit, but it's I It's real, it's real, right? Like, it's real. But, like, that Zodiac sign thing, and when you read it, and when you look and see what your sign is, and you, you know yourself as, like, a person, you, like... That's me. It's real. It's real. It's scary. It's very scary. But that's what I'm saying. Like having tattooing, having so many conversations, tattooing over fucking probably thirty thousand people is like that's crazy. <laughs> I don't have so many conversations with relationships or women or signs, and it be it be like that. You could have wrote a whole Moesha diary at this point, bro. What? Or what? <laughs> like you could have wrote a whole Moesha diary, like yo. This 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 person just came in and just said this. <laughs> like I feel like that whole thing. Like if you think about it, bro. Like you could have did like a whole vlog. Like every time somebody oh, come yeah. in so, and tell oh, their stories, goodness. you know. Stories. I have them. It's just like a whole. It's a computer, whole mindset. Just, but yeah. I feel like that also helps you probably grow as a person. But just knowing like how other people think and how you think yourself, because I know it's like relatable shit. But also like you know like that's. Just going back to the Go Numb, the single, right? Mm -hmm. um, tattooing is therapy. Like, when people go through shit, what I got to do? I got to get a tattoo. When people go through shit, damn, I need a drink. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, uh, I talked to my mom about this shit before. You know, uh, my generation, when we want to celebrate, we celebrate with everything. If, if we just pass the test, we got to take a shot. Or we just got a new car, we gotta take a shot, or we gotta do this, or shit, I gotta get a tattoo, or I might gotta buy some new shoes because I just got this girl, or it's just <laughs> like, it, that shit is just crazy how we really had to like really celebrate everything mm -hmm. though. Like, but I mean, shit, I love it though. Shit, nah, the shot. <laughs> right? The show the show. I definitely started the show with the shot. KP you missed got it. Got to, man. You gotta go numb and just tune everything out sometimes. All right. So look, so before we go, I'm going to play this or that. I'll play this every show. So you know what this or that is, right? I'll run it. You know what it is? What? 
So this or that, I'm gonna give you two things and you gotta either pick one or the other. So prime example, I'll say, I ain't gonna say this, but I'll say like a Chick-fil-A breakfast or a McDonald's breakfast. And you just tell me which one you prefer type shit. Got it? Man. Solid. And if I don't eat either one, uh... <laughs> <laughs> do your big one. Then take a shot, cause those shots are still in there, shit. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? I smoke and replace that. <laughs> All right, cool. So, look, this is the first one. Tattooing or being an artist? Even though that's collide to, together, but... Artist. Being an artist. Okay. Um, pancakes or waffles? Damn. Pancakes and waffles. p and up. You can't do that. Pancakes. Okay. Pancakes? I was a pancake nigga at first, but I became a waffle nigga going to brunch. Uh, French toast is just like everybody French waffles and some be crunchy something like that can't something fuck up pancakes okay like let me ask you this <laughs> I just had this talk with the pancakes are the pancakes soft or they gotta be crispy around in between edges? they gotta have golden they gotta be golden okay living my life like it's golden golden alright so candles or incense ooh that's tough candles I love candles candles if you need to get candles, go to Marshalls or go to Ross. Plug. Marshalls got some. Candles. Hey, they got some candles. What? Mother's Day, I went crazy. You went stupid, <laughs> man. And I'll be Rose's saying this candle all that year for yo, sure. I bought like fifty candles. For how much? Oh, I spent dumb, bro. I don't even know. But nah, the candles in there don't even be expensive. Like all these people, like don't even get me wrong. Like support black businesses all the time, but y'all be taxing for y'all candles, they man. Taxing. Like and the candles be like dead ass. Like nah, this, nah, for sure. you can go to Ross yeah, and get like a candle like oh. this for like seven dollars, ten dollars. Yeah, nah, for sure. Okay, for sure. um, radio or ox cord? Ox, pass me the ox. What's the first song you're gonna play if somebody give you the ox? Um, right now, the first song in my um playlist is Playing with Fire. I just dropped it. You just dropped that, yeah. Uh, that's solid. Okay. Play on fire, man. Let's go numb, and then we play on fire. Okay. All right. <laughs> so the last one, day party or nightclub? It's tough. This the one right here. Day party. One. Day party. Day party. Yo, day parties hit day different. Day parties hit different. Because you can really pull up to a day party. And you at... can see. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see, huh? Watch this. <laughs> you definitely can see. <laughs> ah, day party. You can see, man. Like, I don't know. I just feel like right now, <clears throat> you go to a day party, the sun's still out, everything's so vibrant. You got the vibes, and you can still be in the house before 10 o'clock hit and reset. We drunk as hell, and we going to bed. Hey, you got options. Day party, you got options. Day party, you got options. Hey, look, KP, I appreciate you well, for nothing. being on the fifth episode. I ended up at Baker's, but I ended up yeah. at Compton. I ended up yeah. at Compton. I ended up at Ink Art Music. Yeah, so it's different. I like this vibe, bro. Like, right. I think we got to end up everywhere at this point. You know what I'm saying? I said, no, I, had, I, said I seen your sign back there. I said I had the sign said so ended up at Baker's. Uh, but yeah, we said I had the. The sign right here is perfect. Man, shit, you gonna have to come back. Nah, I, I'm coming back to get Teddy. I'm gonna oh, be on the show. Easy. I'm gonna be on next ah, season. Easy. I'm, easy. I'm being on next season, y'all. Y'all see me on next season? Y'all favorite buyer guy? I'm getting Teddy. I don't know what tat I'm gonna get, but I'm getting Teddy. And easy. I'm gonna have a whole story behind the tattoo. But like, yeah. So when I grew up and I was like 13, <laughs> they put you on. They put me on. They put you on. Who? You got jumped on? Oh. Uh -oh. I you... <laughs> this nigga talking again. All right, see, camera's out. This nigga about to, he about to get me really uh, set up. You <laughs> hey, yo, nah, man. dead ass, man. Look, if y'all don't got go numb, make sure you get that. If you don't got playing with fire, make sure you go get that. KP is a whole artist. If you in motherfucking LA, tell him you it's in the bad. city, and he he gonna tell you where to go. Well. KP don't know where to go to brunch, but <laughs> that nigga said he working, bro. But nah, that ass. Appreciate Definitely. you for being on the Definitely. on the show. But let everybody know how to follow you. Yeah, you can tap in with me. 
at inkarmusic.com and you can follow me on all platforms at I, I am Compton. Hey, look, solid. So I appreciate y'all for tuning in to Ended Up at Baker's. Once again, we didn't technically end up at Baker's. I got to keep saying that because <laughs> We didn't end up at Baker's. Like we ended up at Ink Art Music. Matter of fact, ended up at Ink Art Music. That's that's Compton. The, that's the whole thing. And ended up at Compton. And I got the LA hat and Death Row. I ain't, I ain't come out here with my Washington.